Welcome to Herb Nerd TV. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating and vast world of Chinese herbal medicine. Known as one of the oldest forms of medicine, it's been used for thousands of years to treat everything from common colds to chronic illnesses. But how effective is it? And what does science say about these ancient remedies? Let's explore the many different kinds of Chinese herbal medicines, how they work, and what evidence supports their use. The foundation of Chinese herbal medicine Chinese herbal medicine is a core component of traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, which views the body as a complex, interconnected system. TCM aims to balance the body's qi, energy, yin and yang, and the five elements, all believed to influence health. Instead of treating symptoms in isolation, Chinese herbal medicine focuses on restoring overall balance and harmony within the body. Types of Chinese herbal medicines There are thousands of herbs used in TCM, often combined into formulas tailored to individual needs. Let's look at some of the most commonly used categories. Adaptogens. Herbs like ginseng and astragalus are known for their adaptogenic properties, helping the body adapt to stress and enhance overall resilience. Ginseng, in particular, has been extensively studied for its potential to boost energy, improve cognitive function, and enhance immune response. Anti-inflammatory herbs. Licorice root, turmeric, and scassandra are used to reduce inflammation. Scientific studies show that these herbs contain bioactive compounds like curcumin and glycyrrhizin, which have significant anti-inflammatory effects. Herbs for immune support. Astragalus and reishi mushroom are used to strengthen the immune system. Research has demonstrated that astragalus can enhance the activity of immune cells, while reishi has been shown to have immunomodulating effects. Herbs for digestive health. Ginger, Chinese hawthorn, and dandelion are often used for their digestive benefits. Ginger, for instance, is well documented for its anti-nausea properties and ability to improve digestion, supported by numerous clinical trials. Herbs for respiratory health. Chinese skullcap and loquat leaf are used to treat respiratory issues like asthma and bronchitis. These herbs have been shown to contain compounds that reduce inflammation in the airways and act as natural bronchodilators. Blood tonics. Angelica sinensis, dong qi, and peony are popular blood tonics in TCM, especially for women's health. These herbs are believed to nourish the blood, regulate menstruation, and improve circulation. Some studies suggest that Dong Qi has estrogen-like effects, which can help manage symptoms of menopause. Calming herbs. Jujube seed, valerian root, and goji berries are often used to reduce anxiety and improve sleep. Jujube seed, in particular, has been studied for its sedative effects, shown potential as a natural remedy for insomnia. Detoxifying herbs. Bupleurum, milk thistle, and chrysanthemum are used to detoxify the liver and cleanse the body. Bupleurum, widely used in TCM, is supported by evidence showing its potential to protect the liver and support detoxification processes. Scientific evidence and modern research Chinese herbal medicine is increasingly being validated by scientific research, though it's worth noting that the quality and methods of studies can vary widely. For example, Ginseng has been shown in numerous studies to improve cognitive function, boost immune response, and even reduce cancer-related fatigue. Astragalus has demonstrated antiviral properties and the ability to regulate blood sugar levels, making it promising for conditions like diabetes. Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, has been widely researched for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, shown promise in conditions like arthritis and even cancer prevention. However, not all research is conclusive, and many studies are still in early phases. It's crucial for ongoing studies to use rigorous, well-controlled methods to provide more definitive answers on the effectiveness and safety of these herbal medicines. Safety and side effects While many Chinese herbs are generally safe, they are not without risks. Certain herbs, like ephedra, have been linked to severe side effects, such as heart palpitations and high blood pressure, leading to restrictions in many countries. Others, like licorice root, can cause electrolyte imbalances if used excessively. Additionally, herb-drug interactions are a significant concern. For instance, ginkgo biloba can increase bleeding risk when combined with blood thinners, and St. John's wort can interfere with the effectiveness of various medications. 
Always consult with a healthcare provider before adding Chinese herbs to your routine, especially if you are on prescription medications. The future of Chinese herbal medicine The integration of Chinese herbal medicine into modern healthcare continues to grow. More clinical trials and systematic reviews are underway, exploring how these ancient remedies can be best utilized alongside conventional treatments. The goal is to harness the benefits of both worlds, providing more personalized, holistic care. Thanks for tuning in to Herb Nerd TV. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more evidence-based insights into the world of herbal medicine. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you next time.